Welcome back to the Cali G Kitchen and welcome to day 56 of your 101 day food and fasting program. Today we are cooking some chili con carne. Chili con carne with sweet potato flatbreads with a side salad of pan fried peppers, broccoli tossed in two citrus feta slaw. So we've got the citrus feta slaw that we cooked yesterday, that we made yesterday, is, that's in the fridge. Uh, we're going to make a start on the chili. Uh, once the chili set away, then we'll make a start in the flatbreads around five minutes towards the end of the cooking time. Just taking the skin off of a red onion. This is quite a small red onion, so I'm going to use the full thing. I think in the recipe it says half a red onion, but we're going to use the full thing since it's only a little one. Slice this any way you want. Add this to this pan that's already been heating up. It's got some coconut oil in there. I'm going to add a little bit more heat to that. We're going to go in with half of this pepper. Give this a bit of a rinse. Again, push the core in, top and tail it, slice it down the middle, open it out, and then run the knife along the inside just to remove all of that stuff that you don't want. I'm going to use half of this pepper, I'm going to use the bigger half, maybe a little more than half. Straight down the middle, and then we'll get that into the pan with those red onions. Got three cloves of garlic here, three small cloves. So we're just going to remove the skin from these. We're going to finely chop this garlic. We'll add this to the mix. I'm going to turn this pan down now because I don't want it too hot while we're cooking that garlic. And I know we're missing one thing here, we're missing a chili or two. So I'm going to get those now. I'm going to use two chilies for this. Leaving the seeds in. Going in with all, both of those green chilies, seeds and all.
here we've got some of our pre-done mints that we prepped earlier in the week so this was actually frozen and I've, I got it out last night to defrost I'm going to go in with both portions of this now we've got the mints in there I am going to bring the heat back up slightly I'm going to go in <clears throat> go in with our spices now so we've got cumin, coriander, smoked paprika, curry powder and cayenne pepper so we're going to go in first of all with curry powder so you want a tablespoon of this just to kind of brown this off with our meat whoops definitely don't need that much We've got a tablespoon of that going in there. Cumin, a tablespoon of cumin. A tablespoon of coriander, I believe. Yep. This is dried coriander. The difference between your fresh coriander and ground coriander, ground coriander is actually the seeds and the leaves is actually called uh, cilantro. So uh, coriander is the seeds and the fresh herb is actually called cilantro, but everybody just calls it, everybody calls it coriander. some of our smoked paprika to go in there. Two tablespoons I believe of this. Let's have a look. Two tablespoons smoked paprika. Two generous tablespoons Our smoked paprika going in. I want some salt and pepper going into the mix. Just give that a mix. Want to release all those flavours from the, the spices before we throw the tomatoes and the kidney beans in there. It smells absolutely insane. decent amount of pepper. Again you want to just release the flavours from those spices. You don't want to burn that mince though. You don't want things to start sticking to the bottom of the pan. So once you think that's browned enough, we're going to add the tomatoes in here. We've got some chunky chopped tomato, sorry, chunky chopped tomatoes with herbs. Going in with a full tin. We've got a half a square of chocolate to throw in at the end. That's just going to give us some nice, nice colour to the chili con carne. I'm just going to drain off these kidney beans, and then we're going to add half a tin of kidney beans. Half a tin of kidney beans there. A 
This will be the quickest chili con carne that you've ever made. I promise you that now. While we've got the chili on the go, I'm going to just turn that down ever so slightly. I'm going to make a start on our flatbreads. Going into our pan on a hot heat is some coconut oil. And I'm going to pop that one down for a second. We've got our sweet potato, gluten free sweet potato dough there. We do need a touch of flour to flour this surface, this chopping board. And I'm just going to flatten these out. I'm going to make four dough balls out of this, which means I'm making four flatbreads. Flatten these out around half a centimetre thick. One going in there. I wonder if we can fit two in at once. And then two. Straight off with the lid. And then we'll flatten these other two door balls out. Just so they're ready to go in. These literally want 90 seconds each side, it's a minute and a half each side. One flatbread there. Then a flipsy check on this chili con carne. Lovely. Really 
we are going to go in with this square of chocolate. If you see the colour, it's more like a tomatoey colour at the minute. This will just turn it nice and brown. Back on that lid. around this is a little bit of a hotter pan a lot of all hotter pan hotter hob One last thing to go into the chilli, which is this coriander, this bunch of coriander that I've been, that I've had washed and then drained. Just remove that aside for a second. Finally, chop this coriander out. There's another 30 seconds on the other side. As you can see there, they're pretty much done. Got the chili con carne. The chocolate's just melted there. We are going to remove the lid now and just let the steam kind of evaporate. Just let that thicken up a little bit more. Those two flatbreads done, I'm just going to set those aside on that chopping board for a second. I'm going to get those other two flatbreads on the go. Hopefully get both of them in. A little bit of a squash, but we got them both in. Turn the heat off our chilli. Finally, add this lovely coriander or cilantro. Give it one last mix. See there because of all the steam. Unreal. So we've just got all flat reds there. I'm going to turn these now. See, once that pan's heated up, 
and literally only take 90 seconds each side and then what we're going to do just while we're cooling the other side is kind of put these other flop reds back in just to hit them through enough heat in that pan now just to cook the other side and those ho hobs are hot right. we are just about ready to serve We will do. We're just going to give these flatbreads literally just one more minute. Pop that lid back on. While that flatbread is kind of having its last minute, I'm going to serve up this chilli. Nice big bowl of chilli. Flapper is nicely cooked. And then we're going to just let it serve. If anybody wants to give me a lesson on presentation, then I'm definitely available. One thing that I actually struggle with in the kitchen is the presentation of the food. So we've got our chili there, flatbreads there, and we 
everyone. I was slow. This, this saw is absolutely incredible, honestly. No jokes. Probably the best saw I've ever, ever, ever made. Nice big portion of that alongside it. Not wasting none of that. There you have it. Put your chili con carne, quickest chili con carne you've ever made. We've got our sweet potato, sweet potato gluten free flatbreads, and then we've got our pan fried broccoli and peppers, citrus feta slaw. Hope you all enjoy. We will see you again next time on the Cali G Kitchen. Goodbye for now.